They say wait till a man's heart is through his stomach. I don't really know if that's true or not, but if that's the case, I don't know what's taking so long for me, because I be thrown down. I just cook for my closest friends, of course, loved ones. Because I feel like if you're giving wifey duties to somebody that don't deserve it, then, you know, what special do you have to give when you're married? So ladies, don't be cooking for that no, I'm just like... <laughs>
For everybody that said a teaspoon, I'm so proud of you. For everybody that was like, huh? Mm, mm. I don't know what to say about your education. I'm gonna use actually half a teaspoon of Slap Your Mama because it's just that spicy. You don't need a lot of it. And I like to use two different types of Creole seasonings just to give it a different taste. Make it fun, make it jazzy, all right? So I got that going in my butter mix. Next, I'm gonna add in some crushed pepper because we love our pepper. I'm also gonna add in, it's like about four bay leaves. Just crush them up, add them in, Oops, add them all over. My kitchen gets so dirty after I start cooking too. But that's okay, I got one of those little Roomba vacuum cleaners. I call him El Borracho, which in Spanish means the drunk, because all he does is knock into everything. I don't even know if it's really vacuuming anything. I know there's gonna be a hater in the comments that's like, that's not how you make New Orleans style barbecue shrimp. To each his own. Everybody makes it differently. I bet you you don't make mashed potatoes like I make mashed potatoes, okay? It's okay. You're gonna find 100 recipes how to make it. This is Roxy's recipe. All right, so then we are gonna add some Worcestershire sauce. Yes, this is about mm, a fourth cup of Worcestershire sauce, I would say. Don't go cheap on Worcestershire sauce, guys. Get the good stuff. The one that's wrapped up in your, like, the brown paper bag. You know, if you're from the hood, you know what that brown paper bag used to cover. Somebody had a 40 in there. At least that's where I was from. All right, so I added the Worcestershire sauce, Worcestershire sauce. Then I'm gonna add a little bit of paprika. Gives it a nice tang. You can put paprika almost on anything. I have hot sauce. All right, guys, let me tell you about hot sauce. To each is on. If you a crystals type of person, I ain't mad at you. If you like Louisiana hot sauce, I love you. If you like red hot hot sauce, I love you. Para mi Latinos, do not put no Cholula in here, okay? It's a totally different flavor that does not belong in the New Orleans shrimp wall. I feel you. Do not put sriracha in this mix, okay? You need a crystal, you need a red hot, you need a Frank, you need Louisiana hot sauce, you need one of them. Get you some Creole hot sauce, all right? So this is about 10 dashes of hot sauce. Mm. Then we're gonna add some fresh thyme. Cause thyme is all we have, but that's a lie. Aw, it just looks like the canals that I used to grow up around. Brown with some green stuff floating in them. I just never knew. All right, I'm gonna lower this just a little bit. Next up, we are going to put some lemon. What the lemon is gonna do is gonna try to balance out a little bit of that heat that we have in there. The acidity is gonna break it up a little bit. So I like to take two lemons, cut them in half, and just go ahead and splash the juice in it. That tang is gonna give it a great taste. Ooh, this is when you need a man in the kitchen. And you got the real lemons that come out of a tree. They hard to squeeze. Oh, I didn't cut up another lemon. I need a sous chef, B-E-T. I need some fine man helping me in here right now. Please and thank you. Are y'all cleaning up after this? That's also one of my rules in my kitchen is I don't clean after I cook. So now your mixture is pretty much done. At this point now, you could actually taste it to see if the spice level, if the Creole is right. If you need salt, this is when you would add it. I promise you, I bet you I don't have to add any salt to this. And it's this nice, rich, burnt, copperish almost color. This is what you would use in a crab boil also. Oh my gosh, that's so good. My shrimp have been sitting in ice cold water. They're all cleaned, they're ready to go. So I'm gonna just go ahead and drain these out real fast. Now, you want to get the pretty shrimp, but get you some nice, good, look, clean, big, colossal shrimp. All you gonna do, toss them in there. Now, shrimp cooks so fast. You kind of know the temperature of shrimp because you know they, they go from this grayish, ashy color, the color that you look like when you get out of the shower, that color, 
So after you put lotion on and you're nice and bronzed and looking nice and moist, that's, that's how shrimp changes color, just like that. So you want it to be that appealing color. And you're just gonna set them in there. You wanna give your shrimp enough room in the mix to kind of boil in. See how they're already changing into that pink color? And I'll share the secret, guys. The reason why you want them in the shell is because all of that juice and flavor in the sauces is getting trapped in to the shrimp. Now, if we had the heads on them, it would be even better. We have a saying in New Orleans that says, suck the heads, bite the tail. It's a real thing, you can look it up. I'm not making this shit up, okay? It's not nothing nasty or provocative, but in New Orleans, they like to suck a lot of heads of shrimp and crawfish, okay? Y'all nasty, y'all <laughs> disgusting. All right, so I'm gonna leave this in to boil. This is my favorite game to play. Does it fit? No. Does it fit? Yes. Okay. That's how you know you've been cooking. See all that? All that All that marks? Somebody that does work in the kitchen. So get you your bread knife and get you some nice French bread. French bread is the best because what this is going to do is sop up all of that sauce that we just made. You got this as your main meal. Do like a little side uh, salad if you want. I usually make some Creole potatoes to go on the side of this shrimp dish. My Creole potatoes are infamous. Men have proposed to me for my Creole potatoes. Clearly I've said no because I don't have a ring on my finger yet, but the time will come. Okay. So I'm moving my shrimp around to make sure that they cook all the way even. You want them to be that nice pink color, but you don't want to overcook them. Get you some curly, curly, curly parsley. Do not get Italian parsley. That's the wrong parsley. If you ever trying to show out and look, make something look good for somebody, get you some parsley, chop it up and put it on top. It's gonna look gourmet. Ooh. <coughs> Damn, cut it and cut it. Oh, shit. <coughs> oh my God, I'm tired. You know you did it right if you can't breathe anymore. <clears throat> shit. The shrimp is the color that we wanted. That sauce is looking right. They cook up so fast. You just gotta wait to see if they're that pink color and you're ready to go. And there you have it. And you want a style barbecue shrimp? Cook them five, ish. <laughs> you know red don't come out of beige easily, but that's my fault for wearing this. I don't care if I look stupid either. I'm gonna tell y'all how much I'm a pro at this stuff. Yeah, yeah. when you're not cheap with the shrimp, you get more out of it. Oh, so good. I'm not supposed to be eating carbs, but I have to now. This is the best part, right here. See that? That is so good. Mm. Now who's cook now who's cleaning this kitchen? My cleaning lady already came. What's going on, y'all? It's your girl, Roxy. You are watching BET's Cooked in 5, and for more episodes, hit that subscribe button.